Big front squat day today. Lego. As I said, I was gonna revamp my uh, my front squat training protocol a little bit in the next week. I had had my ten, three by ten day on um, on Mondays, but I'm gonna slide that over to Fridays now and do a five by five on Monday to kind of go in line with a, um, a kind of hypertrophy power strength uh, setup for the week, which is what Dr. Zordos did a. Um, a DUP study on when he was here at Florida State that ended up being the superior style. So I'm going to go along with that, see how it works. Um, so today was my second 3x10 day of the week. So I was a little tired, but got it done. 290 for uh, 10 sets of 3, which really is not bad. I did my best front squat ever um, in about February, sometime in there, and I did 370. And in that time, my best triple was no more than 315. I don't recall what it was, but I know I have not repped more than 330 maybe pounds. And that would have been for a double. So to do 290 for 10 sets of three feels pretty good. Um, my front rack was giving me some fits. And I eventually did switch from a um, all fingers on to just like, two fingers on, kind of pterodactyl claw on it towards the end. And it looks stronger. It's just a matter of it feeling kind of loose. But I think that's to be expected with any sort of fatigue, which, you know, for 10 sets, it's going to happen. And you can kind of feel it, feel it as it deteriorates a little bit. Um, also notice that like, it was really hard after a while to catch, to like, get my breath at the top of the rep to hold. So sometimes I'd feel sort of shaky. But, you know, the speed wasn't bad on most of the reps. There were only a couple of uh, third reps in the whole entire workout where I felt like I might lose my rack. But I managed to keep it up. And honestly, I don't feel quite as, uh, quite as toasted right now as I did on Monday when I did the same workout with 275. So, so uh, hey, adaptation. Um... Also felt them for the first time since I started in my quads. Quads were definitely burning a little bit as I was driving home. I could tell that they'd been working, which was something I was initially kind of worried about. I kind of wasn't sure if I was going to get enough quad work. It just felt more felt more like my upper back was going to be the limiting factor, and I still think that'll be the case. But I definitely could tell that my quads were doing work today. And yeah, so my plan is just to kind of try to add, you know, five to ten pounds every week for three or so weeks. Um, going by feel sort of with them. I don't really have a one RM that I'm working off of right now. So, you know, if that ends up being too much, then, you know, dial back. And it'll be all right. My main concern is just getting into the gym and squatting again with something, you know. I'm noticing, I'm seeing that there's a meet in Fort Myers in December that I'm thinking about maybe doing because um, I'm going to be doing the USAPL club level coaching certification at Raw Nationals this year and we will probably be spending more time coaching with the with my team than um, competing. So probably go to do this December meet as a single entity down in Fort Myers. It'll be a fun time. Hopefully break, you know, 1,300 plus would be a good thing to do. And, you know, just kind of have fun with it. It'd be good to compete again. Especially after seeing Raw Nationals, which I'm crazy excited about. Um, yeah. Like I said, I've been trying to do this thing. So, uh, yeah, it was a rough rep. Um, I just noticed my, um, when my rack collapses, my, um, my elbows kind of like rotate inward, like they're gonna like touch each other almost. And I guess that's because my shoulders are rotating internally. But I'm just trying to figure out how to hold that. You can kind of see it like, let's see if I do it. Pretty good there. And like you can see it like in my wrist angle too. They start out, they'll be up, and then they'll kind of like curve towards my face. And that's when I tend to lose it. So, oh, I guess that was it. All right. Okay, well...
next thing I've been doing is I've been doing these um, single stop deadlifts. Here's 315 for some sets of three. I love these. You'll notice that I was really thinking about trying to pull the slack out of the bar in this horizontal position and pulling myself there. And when I do that, I do it by rotating my elbows in, trying to see, rotate them in, and that squeezes the lats together, pause at the knee, lock out. And while it feels heavy, you know, I'm, it's not heavy weight, obviously, but I do feel like the form looks so much better than what I have been doing. So my plan is just to pull a normal actual pull, maybe once a week on Wednesdays, something light, just to make sure that I forget, I remember to you know power my way all the way through the lockout. But I think these are going to be a tremendous deadlift builder for me. Not only for the fact that I feel I'm like toasting my glutes and my hamstrings, but also just for the fact that it teaches me to keep the bar close to me, teaches me to stay tight the entire movement, and it teaches me to really lock out hard because I have to stop right at the knee. So, you know, see what I can eventually do for some triples with these. Just kind of going to try to add weight as I feel like I can. But, I mean, I, they already feel better than they did on Monday when I did them for the first time, so... Yeah, no real complaints there. Obviously, if anyone has any comments, I know I'm kind of starting out more horizontal, which a lot of people have uh, kind of cautioned me on, but I feel like when I do that, I'm able to pull the slack out of the bar better than when I start in that vertical position. Something I want to eventually work on doing is, um, if you watch any videos of Ben Rice deadlift, he has this little thing where he pushes his hips back and then kind of like pops them through a couple of times and then initiates the pull. And I feel like that kind of helps him break it off the ground, which, you know, I'm breaking off the ground used to be my strength. So I'd like to take advantage of that. But for right now, I'm just trying to master the form a little bit better and just staying upright and not being stupid and gripping and ripping. So all in time, I'll figure it out and I'll get better. But, you know, I'm really stoked on the way that these are feeling so far. Obviously, there's always room to stay tighter, pull faster, pull harder. But here you can really see my elbows rotating in to really get my lats tight. It almost looks like my grip could go in a little bit, which seems odd, but I might try it. So. I've tried closer footing, foot stances, but um, really, I have some crazy long legs. Like my girlfriend is like 5'2 or something, and our torsos are the same length. I just make up for it in legs. So um, I think having them further out really kind of helps me take uh, eliminate the just dropped remote, disadvantage anything that I have with my height. But anyway, I got a bench tomorrow, more video then, going to push press for the first time, oh loud.